Okay, hi everyone, welcome to the Q&A video that I've been postponing for quite a while. We're gonna do it today, or at least we're gonna start it today, because you guys asked a lot of questions. A lot more than I anticipated, so this actually might be a, a, a multiple part thing. We'll see how we do, we'll see how quickly I can answer these, and um, hopefully I can answer them to a satisfactory uh, extent. I really, really can't thank you enough, guys, for all of the lovely uh, comments and uh, questions here. I've not really read most of them, so I haven't prepared any answers. I'm just going to do this completely off the cuff. But um, there's been a lot of really lovely and kind messages, so thank you so much, everyone. Uh, without further ado, I guess we'll uh, we'll jump in. I've got uh, I've got a beverage here because I really I might be here a while. Um, did not anticipate getting this many. Jesus Christ. But uh, we'll give this a go anyway. Right, first off we have... Uh, oh, I'm answering these oldest to newest, so just the order in which you guys asked them. Uh, the first comment slash question is from Kurt Barnes who asks, Why are you celebrating such an odd number of subscribers like 30,127? Um, it was a joke, basically. I, I was making a, a joke about how... There's really is no difference between 30,000 and 30,127. It's just a number at the end of the day. However, it's a number that, you know, stands for and represents uh, a pretty a pretty awesome achievement. I, I'm, I am proud of myself as much as I don't typically let myself be proud of myself. I'm, it's crazy that that many people have, have clicked on my videos and thought, you know what? I might want to see more from this guy. So it's really just a joke. Um... <laughs> In fact, a couple of my uh, my mates in real life, we were chatting about it, and they they kind of suggested that it might be funny to do something like that. So you have them to blame for it as well. Uh, but thank you, Kurtz, for the uh, question. Uh, Mr. Dark Soul, who is uh, quite a, 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 a frequent commenter of mine. Uh, Vivian Tonberry in the celebration. Adorable. Yes, they're actually um, they're on my computer uh, at the moment. That's where they usually live. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, not a question, but thank you. Um, this girl games 7347 asks, uh, well, first of all, says, Congratulations, great news, you deserve it and more. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I don't know if I do deserve more, and I don't know if I do deserve what I have, but I'm very grateful. Um, if you could meet anyone in the world, who would you meet? Ooh, starting off with quite a difficult one. Um, there's a few people that would jump to mind. I mean, they say never meet your heroes. Um, so I don't, I, I, I think I would be hesitant and I'd be very nervous. But I'd love to meet Hideo Kojima, um, Nobuo Umatsu or, uh, Sakaguchi, you know, Final Fantasy. Um, I think those, those three would be really awesome to meet. Um, Nicolas Cage might be fun. I just, I, I, I think he's, he's, he's been one of my favorite actors since, since I was a little kid. Um, so you might be fun to meet. Um, I really don't know. There's, there's there's probably so many that I'm not even remembering right now, but um, good question, good question. I hope that answers it in some fashion. If I think of any more, I'll let you know. Um, this, is, this is why I probably should have prepared some answers for some of these, <clears throat> but... Um, yeah, th those would, would definitely be on the list, for sure. Um, trying to think who else. Who else? Yeah, nothing's jumping to mind, but if I think of any, I will, uh, I'll let you know. Anyway, thank you for the question. Uh, the Leafeon1 asks, Do you play any mobile games? Um, no. No is, is the, the long and short of that. I do not game on my mobile at all. It's purely for YouTube and browsing the web, and occasionally I'll answer a phone call. Uh, not that I get many, but uh, yeah, I don't. I don't really. I don't really mobile game. I think um, I've played games that have been mobile games on like the PC, for example, Plants vs Zombies. Uh, love that. Um, but I haven't really played any any mobile games to be honest. I know the the recent Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis has come out and. A lot of people asked if I was going to play that, but um, yeah, I just don't. I just don't game on my mobile. I really don't. So, um, thank you for the question. 
Um, right, import, important exporter. Congrats and thank you for all the fun times. Here's my question. If you had to live in a video game world for the rest of your days, what would be your choice and why? Now, I think, just skimming through these, there's, um, there's a few people that have asked similar questions to this, so we'll just cross that bridge when we come to it. I think out of all the video game worlds, I mean, there's many that I would love, I would love to visit, maybe not live. I think I'm too used to modern um, conveniences and comforts. So going to like a medieval world like Final Fantasy IX, for example, which is like, you know, as you guys know, one of my favorite games of all time, if not my favorite, uh, I think I'd struggle. I think I'd struggle without electricity and, uh, you know, video games. So with that in mind, I think Final Fantasy VIII might take the cake here because it's very adjacent to the modern world but with magic, monsters, cool shit, also hoverboards. Um, I think Final Fantasy VIII might might be the one. Uh, yeah, although... Mm, tens. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm Final Fantasy through and through, guys, so most of my answers will probably be Final Fantasy related. If I had to pick a game that wasn't Final Fantasy and a world that I would like to live in... Um, that is a good question. Definitely not... Bloodborne, put it that way, um, as much as I love that game. Although that's basically Britain anyway. Yarnum is basically Britain. Um, oh, gosh, what would I choose? What would I choose? Uh, I, miss the, I miss the old days where I used to have, like, shelves of all my games. Now I don't. Now I have nothing to look to for inspiration. Um, oh, there must, be, there must be one. There must be some. Oh, come on, think, mage, think. Think. Um, and now again, I know I'm going to contradict myself here a little bit, but I really would love to live in uh, Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, Cyrodiil. That would be really nice. Uh, as much as I wouldn't have any of the the uh, f fancy gizmos and things, um, that would be quite cool. Uh, and... Mm, I really, and I know it's a hot, right, uh, this is going to be a, maybe a controversial opinion, but I really, really like uh, Columbia from Bioshock Infinite. Get rid of all the racism bullshit, right? But living up in the sky like that, I just, I think that would be beautiful. Like, it's a beautiful place. So maybe Columbia, if you get rid of all the psychopaths and the racism and all that stuff but yeah maybe that i don't know um these answers are terrible these answers are terrible also this is just gonna be the whole video me talking to the camera um so maybe just have this on in the background you really don't need to look at me <laughs> right now uh but yeah i guess uh i guess final fantasy 8 would be my choice yeah i'm i'm pretty i'm pretty certain uh, Rose1701 asks, uh, well, first of all says, Congratulations, mage. So well deserved. I'm rubbish at thinking of anything creative, but here goes. Uh, me too. Of all the Let's Plays you have uploaded, which would you recommend to someone new to your channel, and uh, which would be the one you most enjoyed making? Ooh. I mean, I've made a lot at this point. However, most of them, to be honest, I cringe at. And I wouldn't say I am proud of because I think they've aged terribly and not of the best quality. That's just my opinion. Um, I really, I'm really enjoying at the moment Final Fantasy 16 and RE4 remake. I think those ones, um, I would I would suggest to people check out if you want to watch me play a game for the first time without any knowledge. If you want to see me play a game that I am knowledgeable of, I'm you know as as old as it is, I am quite proud of my Final Fantasy Nine. Steam playthrough. Um, even though, again, I, I couldn't watch it myself. No way. Um, I I feel I did that game justice, and I mean, one day I'd love to do an updated version of it again as well. But um, I'm trying to think, I, I, a lot of people really enjoyed my Dangan Romper as well. Actually, um, I might suggest that one. Uh, but yeah, I'd say at the moment. I mean, Res I, I quite enjoyed my Resident Evil 1 playthrough as well, which, again, is quite recent, which, again, I just can't stand anything I've done more than a year ago, it seems. Um, yeah, maybe maybe those. 
Uh, the one that I, I the mo the one that I most enjoyed making. I mean, that, that's just impossible to answer, because I've enjoyed so, so many. I really do enjoy the Resident Evil ones, though. I, I think they get me out of my comfort zone a little bit. Um, I really love those games. And um, the ones that I'd say don't get many views on the channel, because not many people find me through Resident Evil, but I really, really enjoy making those. Um, the Dragon Quest games. I mean, probably... That may be the one I'm most proud of in terms of what it achieved for me is the Dragon Quest XI one, because that just blew up. And I don't think I'll ever have a video series or just one video, the part one of that, to reach that many views ever again. It was insane how much that blew up. I got so lucky with the algorithm, and uh, again, if I watch it back now, I think it's terrible, but that still, to this day, gets so many views, and it's 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 kind of kickstarted. I mean, I did Dragon Quest VIII before that, and that did super well. Um, but really, I think Dragon Quest is my most successful game series on the channel. I mean, even Dragon Quest IX, I think that's got over 100,000 views on part one, which is just mental. And there's more Dragon Quest to come. Absolutely. I adore that series, and it's been fun exploring a lot of those games and discovering them for the first time uh, with you chaps. But, um, yeah, there's too many to really choose from, but th those ones spring to mind. Um, I I'd say I've really enjoyed doing some of the games from my childhood as well. Games like uh, the, the Splinter Cells and um, Time Splitters, things like that. I I just, I, I like a variety of things. And uh, while it's hard to build an audience doing a variety of things, I really do recommend you guys or hope that you guys would enjoy watching some of those as well if you haven't already um but thank you very much for the question rose um khaki plays well done dude proud of you since i've been watching oh 25k so yeah you've been here a while khaki thank you very much man appreciate it appreciate it uh imperial wales one asks who is your favorite sid and why referring to the character recurring character of uh sid in final fantasy um I would say, gut instinct right now, my favorite Sid is probably still Sevens. However, Sixteens is right up there and may may actually become my favorite over time. Uh, he was that good. I adored him. I love I love Nines as well. Um, I'd say it's probably between Seven, Nines, and Sixteens. Uh, I don't really um. Yeah, I I mean, I, I do like 8s as well, but he's not massively in that game. I mean, he is, but yeah, I, I'd go I'd go with 7, uh, with 16, I'd, maybe joint 7 and 16. I love, I love them both. I do. I love them both. Um, thank you for that question. Very good one. I like it. Uh, Hapsto Hopip. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of a bit of a cold. Uh, what are your top favorite fi uh, favorite games? Top favorite games. Okay. Um, this changes all the time. However, my top two never changes. Final Fantasy IX, Metal Gear Solid 1. I can't pick between those two, so they just take the joint one or two spots. You can shuffle them around in any order you want. It's I just can't pick between them. Um, as for the rest of the top five, that will change constantly. I think Bioshock 1 has to be in there. Uh, at the moment, I would say so. Uh, Final Fantasy X is in there, and either Dark Chronicle or Dragon Quest VIII. Maybe. Again, it changes so much, but I'm, I'm just going to go with those um, for that one. Thank you very much. Uh, Rising Phoenix. How long did it take to set up Vivi and the Tomberry plushies correctly? Congrats on the 30,127 subs, Mage. Here's to many more. Thank you very much, uh, Phoenix. I uh, It did not take me very long at all. Do you have a routine that you do before recording any video? Um, I guess I don't, but I... Well, there's some... There's, there's like certain steps in my mind that I have to go through. It's not... I don't really have a, a physical routine. I just basically sit down. I set up set everything up, sit down, 
And it usually takes me quite a while to psych myself up to start something. And I'll usually record the intro to a video. Maybe 10, 20 times sometimes. Not, not lying. Not even kidding. Because I record it and I go, that's terrible. Or I just don't feel it. So there's a lot of stopping and starting. And sometimes a lot of just me sat here going, right, I need to get in this mindset. And, you know, the thing is, I love doing this, but I do find it still quite difficult, especially starting a video. It's really hard for me to to get the right kind of feel. And uh, sometimes I don't like my cadence or I don't or I say something stupid or I fumble over a word. That happens a lot. Um, but usually I'd like to... I like to make sure that the, the house is quiet, which is difficult these days because my mum works from home. Uh, she's in the very next room, in fact, so I don't tend to do a lot of recording during the day. Um, I am right now because I have the house myself, but um, yeah, I don't really have a routine. I think I like to... It's very rare that I, I just wake up and then I can immediately go into a video. Sometimes I'll watch a few um, Let's Plays or videos and maybe not all, all of a video, just stick something on, see someone else doing what I do, seeing them enjoy it, and that gives me the motivation to jump in. Uh, I do that a lot, actually. A lot of the time, I will have a crisis of confidence, or I'm just not feeling good, and I'll stick on someone else's videos, and it makes me feel better. It, it can it can bring me round to wanting to do it, and uh, reminds me of how much I enjoy it, and that's basically my routine, I'd say. Yeah, a lot of the time, sometimes I listen to a bit of hype music, like hype video game music to um, jump into recording. I mean, I've just recorded a video uh, this morning, and before that, I just stuck on some of the uh, Star Ocean 2 remake uh, battle music, because that's just... Oh, I love that at the moment. I've been listening to that at the gym as well. It's so great. So, um, yeah, a little bit of those kind of things. It varies from day to day, but uh, I like that question. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Galactrix93, what's your favorite game you've ever played that's not featured on the channel before? Oh, and PS, congrats on the subscriber count. Thoroughly deserved, Mage. Thank you very much. That's a good question. Favorite game that's never featured on the channel before? Um, probably... Either Chrono Trigger or Deus Ex Human Revolution. I would say I would also lump like Oblivion Skyrim into that because I well, technically they have been on the channel probably but not like a full series. Um so they would be on that list I'd say. Uh games that I do in intend on getting around to eventually one day maybe when I'm like 50. Um if anyone's still watching me then. I yeah I'd say those probably. I'm trying to think there's there's probably other games that I haven't done. I mean some of the early Tomb Raiders I still need to do. I'm really looking forward to the remasters. Uh, and yeah, I'm trying to think. Some, I mean, some of the Assassin's Creeds I haven't done that I, I really, really like, but uh, I think I've done most of the ones that I really enjoyed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. That is a very good question. Because slowly but surely over the years, I have ticked off a lot of the games that I really love especially from a childhood. So I think Splinter Cell Chaos Theory as well. That is, an, that is a, a strong contender for that list. But there's so, there are so many. There are so, 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 so many. Um, and I'm sure there's many others that I'll think of after I've done this video and be like, oh, I should have said this, but um, I guess that'll do for now. Thank you very much. Uh, Glory Almighty, how... Uh, I know it's been a while, but is there any chance you will continue your Assassin's Creed series? Or thinking uh, more recently, your Resident Evil series? Well, I've I've been doing a lot of Resident Evil uh, games pretty consistently over the last few years. Uh, I've just done Resi 1, doing RE4 Remake right now. Uh, congrats anyway on your subs. Take care, man. Thank you very much. Uh, Assassin's Creed, obviously, when I first started doing my, my YouTube channel, I did a lot of Assassin's Creed games. Uh, again, very poorly. Don't watch those videos. Um, it's a series I love, and I'm really excited for Mirage, which is actually out in like... In fact, it's out tomorrow. Holy shit. Super excited for that. I hope it's good. Um, I just don't think 
especially with games like Assassin's Creed Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla, they're just too big to really do on YouTube. Like, they would just take me forever, and I really, I don't think people would be interested enough to watch those. Um, and yeah, I, I don't, I don't think most of my audience nowadays would, would be interested in seeing me do an Assassin's Creed game. And I know that's going to annoy a lot of the older people. I did do, re like, in the last, I think it was during, it was during the pandemic, I did Assassin's Creed 2 again, um, which I really enjoyed doing. And I was actually surprised that so many people did watch that. And I would love to redo Brotherhood and Revelations one day, because I love those games so much. And they just give me a really nice nostalgic feeling. Uh, but it's not a priority. Um, so the, the, the answer is maybe. Maybe. It depends on you guys, really. Um, but not, not for the foreseeable future, anyway. But Resident Evil is absolutely, you know, once I'm done with uh, Remake uh, 4, I would love to do Code Veronica. Because um, that would be like the, the last main entry, other than 6, which I didn't finish on the channel. So, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Um, but thank you very much. Would you consider collaborations outside of your normal videos that Lazy Mini Painting asks? Yes and no. I've had a few people approach me over the years asking for collabs, and I've had to refuse them because either I just don't know them well enough, or I'm busy. And it sucks that I do have to turn people down for stuff like that, because in the past, I've enjoyed the collaborations I have done. Uh, you know, um, with Soul Chris, British Eagle, people like that. Um, my friend Kelsey, we did a couple of videos together. It's always super fun doing that stuff, but it's so hard, especially when there's time zones involved, of organizing it. And especially with how my mental state fluctuates, I'm not always in the mood to game or be sociable. And it's just, it makes it an absolute nightmare. So unless it's something really short that I can do, like um, with Michelle, when when we did our uh, Final Fantasy IX race, that was like, you know, one day when I'd be streaming anyway, so it was easier to make time for it. And, uh, you know, it helps that I was playing Final Fantasy IX, and Mersh is just, just a joy to uh, enjoy that game with. Um, so I, would, I, I have plans to do more collabs in the future. Um, I really enjoyed the Pokemon stuff that I've done. It's just uh, finding time to fit in with all the stuff that I want to do solo. So the answer is yes, I just don't know when. And it has to be the right project as well. It has to be something that I'm really really invested in and want to do because I, do, I don't want to let people down like start a big project and then be like a few videos in going you know what I'm just not enjoying this game so it's uh it's difficult and I, I really don't like letting people down like that so or messing them around so uh yeah I would, I would love to do more collabs in the future and I think that would help the channel grow as well uh but I'm just really really bad at committing and finding time um, but thank you for that. Uh, Umbra Hawk 1990 asks, what made you start doing video as well? I've told this story a few times, but again, there's a lot of new people on the channel these days. So back in uh, 2009, late 2009, I was watching a lot of YouTube videos of Final Fantasy 13 Because uh, it had come out in Japan, it hadn't come out over here yet. So I was super excited for it. And I saw uh, a guy called Tokyo Dome SF4. Uh, doing uh, playthroughs of him just recording his TV with a camcorder and playing through the game, and he would translate some of it as well. And I just thought that looked like the most fun thing to do ever. And we ended up doing uh, a collab on Resident Evil 5, uh, which a lot of people had, I mean, a lot of fun with, and it was just so much fun doing that stuff. But um, it was basically, he, sh he was the first person I saw doing a Let's Play, and I just thought, wow, that looks so much fun. I started looking up more people. And um, I, I think over the, over the years, I've stumbled across some uh, playthroughs of games that just really resonated with me. And, and it really did just make me want to give it a go myself. So I did. And those early videos are terrible. But I had so much fun making them. And uh, so, yeah, that's how I got onto YouTube, really. It was... Uh, Primarily down to Final Fantasy XIII, uh, Rob, aka Tokyo Dome SF4, and um, 
a few other people, like uh, Nintendo Capri Sun. I've watched him for years, very early on. I watched uh, Vash. Um, th those two I've watched pretty consistently over the years, um, and and uh, a few others as well that have inspired me to do to do this and to keep doing this. Uh, so yeah, hope that answers your question. Right, Deku one o one o underscore asterisk. I think I'm really happy to be one of your subscribers. I'm really happy you're really happy, Deku. Well, who is your who is your favorite protagonist in Final Fantasy? Quite a difficult question, I'd say. Uh, up until recently, I probably would have said uh, Zidane or um, Nicey protagonist. There's a lot of characters in Final Fantasy that I would consider protagonists that aren't the main character. So I'm just going to kind of choose people who I feel are strong enough characters and fulfill that role. They may not be the main character, although Zidane is. I'd say Zidane, um, you know, Vivi. Um, I, gu I guess I'll, st I'll stick to main characters. I'll stick to the, the you know. Uh, so Zidane... Uh, I really do like Cloud and Squall. Uh, I really, really do like Terra. Uh, and, you know, Tidus, I like more than most people do. I wouldn't say he's my favorite, though, but I I, I can relate to him a lot. Uh, but Clive from 16 is phenomenal. I mean, not only has he performed just amazingly and given great writing, but just... It's so refreshing to have a character, I'm not going to spoil anything, but who has a lot of issues and is very edgy on the surface, but is actually, like, a capable human being of having social interactions and, and just functioning like a normal human, even though he's struggling so much. And he has humor to him. He has, you know, angst. It's just a really well-rounded character. And again, he's just performed fantastically. So Clive is is right up there. Clive is right up there. Um, and there's yeah, there's a few other characters that uh, you know I would say that I've I've enjoyed a lot. I mean, I enjoyed Noxus. I thought Noxus was pretty good. Um, uh, Lightning. I like how much of a badass she is. But I'd say uh, I had to pick a favorite. If I had to pick one, for, I'd I'd probably go with Zidane. I really love how upbeat he is and the journey that he goes through. Uh, he was just a nice change of pace from the more dour Squall and Cloud. So I'm going to go with Zidane on that. Uh, ah, Elder. First of all, congrats. Thank you, buddy. Second of all, if you could have your memory wiped of, on one game, which would you like to experience for the first time again? No MGS, you scrub. Oh, well, Final Fantasy IX then. No, um, if I hadn't to pick one of those, I think it would probably be the first Bioshock. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say either that or The Last of Us. Mmm, yeah. I'd say it'd probably be one of those two. There's so many, though. Like, I wish I could re-experience all the games I love for the first time again. But you always run the risk of not having the same experience because of, you know, me not being a kid anymore or not being in that particular place in life anymore. I, I truly do believe that a lot of games, w what kind of makes them have such an impact is your circumstances. Uh, but yeah, I'd probably go with Bioshock. I'm going to go with Bioshock on that one. Thank you very much, Elder. Uh, Warrior Star, uh, XI11, uh, 2005. Congrats on the 30k mage. Keep it up. Thank you very much. Uh, Taxicab1729 asks, what car do you drive and do you like it? Um, I drive a Kia Picanto, uh, 2012. It, uh, it is fine. It is a car. It gets me from A to B, although its battery dies all the time because I don't, I don't drive much. I'm really not a fan of driving. I don't enjoy it. Um, it's never been something that's appealed to me, but it's something that I did out of, uh, necessity more than anything. It gets me to and from the shops and the gym, and it is, uh, nice to have in case of an emergency. So, yeah, um, that's my, that's my car. I call it Pablo, Pablo Escocar. 
Uh, Narcopraxis602 asks, if you could make your own RPG, what kind of game would it be? Which games would it take inspiration from, and what would the story be about? Which battle mechanics would you have to include? Oh, that's a that's a tough question. That's a lot. Um, I mean, as a, as a kid growing up, I did think about what my perfect game would be, and if I could make a game because I wanted to be a game designer for a long time, uh, and I had visions of of what it would be like. I think if I had to make my own RPG, I would love to incorporate. Kind of like a cell shaded graphical style. Um, it would take heavily influence, heavy influence from Dark Cloud, the Dark Cloud series, because I would I love the whole aspect of inventing things in those games, specifically Dark Cloud too. Uh, so there'd be like some sort of invention system where you could make vehicles, weapons, you know, or just a really in depth crafting system. Uh, and it would be, I'd say, it would probably be an action RPG, um, with maybe elements of being able to like freeze time, think about things, uh, like FF Seven Remake or Star Ocean. And yeah, the story, I don't really know. I don't really know. I think that's a that's a lot to get into. It would probably be. Again, something akin to maybe a, a, a mix between light-hearted and a bit more mature uh, of like a Dragon Quest or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'd say I'd say it'd be something. Yeah, see, in my in my mind, I always imagined like building like hovercrafts and things to get over fields and jumping off and fighting monsters and. Um, I guess a lot of that has actually been done in Tears of the Kingdom now, but I'd want it to be a full RPG uh, with with the weapon upgrading system of Dark Chronicle as well. I love that. I wish I wish more games would do that kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, it'd be something like that. I'd say maybe maybe a more open world Dark Chronicle. Basically, uh, that'd be awesome. Oh yeah, I'd love that. Um, congrats, mage, says Reg. Thank you very much. How would you uh, respond if someone recognized you in public? Are you a local celebrity? No, no, I am not. I am tiny, guys. I am tiny. I mean, 30,000 is not to be sniffed at, but let's be honest. Uh, there's no way I'm ever getting recognized anywhere. There's no way. And thank God. Because um, while it would be cool, I'd, I'd feel very awkward. Um, that's not to say that if you do somehow recognize me that you shouldn't come up and say hello. Um, but I feel like I would probably run the risk of letting people down in the, uh, like, I wouldn't match their expectations. So, it's another reason why I don't tend to do meetups, or, I, yeah, I don't, um, or go to cons and things. Um, because I'm worried that, yeah, the real me, uh, aside from all my insecurities, just, I don't think I'd be very fun to hang out with. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm... I think I would respond, hopefully, in a polite way and be welcoming and not creepy. Uh, but I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm definitely not a local celebrity, and I will never reach that. Uh, Soul Christ, oh boy. Um, question time: What size trousers do you wear? Uh, last time I checked, I'm a 34 waist, 32 leg. If that answers your question. Um, although I have lost a bit of weight, so I might not be a 34 waist anymore. I'm not sure. Uh, I have to wear a lot of belts, actually, so maybe I'm not. I, I've I have not actually bought a pair of trousers in a very long time. <laughs> I should do. I need to, I need to get some more jeans. Hmm. But thank you very much, uh, buddy, for that weird question. I love it. I love it. Sketchcraft. Awesome. Congrats, mage. Thank you very much. Uh, Dizzy Taz, congratulations, Mage, on reaching over 30k subscribers. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, Telly, congrats on 30k, Mage. Been here since the old days of AC Revelations, and now you're at 30k and growing. Thank you, Telly. It's crazy that people like yourself have been around that long. I don't know why, because, again, I look back at those early videos, and they're complete trash. Um, boy, I've been going over for, like, over half an hour now. This is probably going to be a multi-parter, chaps. Um, so, I will... Uh, answer this last question and then we'll probably do the rest next time 
Uh, Natalie Baker 4942 asks, uh, well, first of all, congrats. Uh, what is a goal you'd like to achieve or bucket list item you must tick off at any time? Ooh. I mean, I would love to reach 100,000 subscribers and get that play button. That, that would be awesome. I don't think it's attainable. I really don't. It's taken me like four, nearly 14 years to get to this point. Um, so I don't, I don't think it's attainable at all. Uh, but it would be awesome. That'd be, you know, it's a, it's a dream. Um, reaching partner on something like Twitch would also be great. But uh, in terms of uh, away from the internet, I would love, I would love to go to Alaska. Alaska's always a place that I wanted to go ever since I played MGS One. Um, that would be great. Um, what else? God, I, I, I struggle with, with goals actually i mean i'd love to own my own house i'd love to make enough money to be able to own my own house and be self-sufficient in that way um again probably not gonna happen but that's a goal i guess um but my my real goal and i know this is gonna sound really soppy is just to be happy i i i, I don't know how to attain that but it's something that i strive for every day is just to be happy and live in the moment try not to worry about what's coming um and just uh hopefully make someone's day a little bit better <laughs> you know what i mean i it's guys as complete like oh mate whatever but no seriously that's that's what i would say that is the answer to that yeah yeah um i'll, I'll answer uh one well actually there's a how many comments have i got here oh yeah no there's there's quite a few there's quite a few i'm not yeah okay um uh a uh c a mcdivitt 9722 have you ever considered purchasing an air conditioner in celebration god i wish i wish the only problem is there's no way we can get one installed in here if i got a little unit that is possible, um, and it is something I've considered. They are still very expensive, very loud, and my room is very small. So maybe next year I might have to just look into it. But um, yeah, it's, it's difficult to fit one in here, to be honest, because I don't have much space. We really don't have much room in this house. Uh, so yeah, maybe, maybe one day. Uh, I'm just gonna do- I'll do a, a few more, just reading some comments. I first found your Dragon Quest IX playthrough in 2019. I thought you had million subscribers. Well, I'm flattered. I definitely don't. Thank you very much, Fireman. Uh, Jared P uh, Pericos? I'm probably saying that wrong. Congrats on 30k, thank you. Uh, and... Masala Man, this'll be- this'll be my last question. Um... And then we'll carry on in part two. What is the meaning of life? <sighs> yeah, that's a toughie. I'd say my my personal meaning of life is, again, try and achieve happiness. Try to make people's lives around you better in some way. Basically, leave the world in a better you know, condition than you left it. And... Maybe we'll find out one day what the true meaning of life is, but I, I, I truly, maybe, maybe there isn't one. It's what, it's what you make it, isn't it? That's the meaning of life. It's what you make it. I don't think there is any grand plan. I could be wrong, but it's, uh, it's what you make of it. And so far you guys have helped make mine infinitely better. So I think that's a good, a good soppy, uh, place to end part one. Thank you for watching. Please do like the video if you, if you have enjoyed this. Um, and again, probably just use it as like a background noise kind of thing. We will continue this as soon as I can. Thank you so much for all the comments so far. And uh, I will see you in the next part. Bye-bye for now.